Hi, this is Dale with Computer Aftercare, and tonight I want to share some information with you about how to fix blue screen errors in Windows 7. And to get started, I'm going to go ahead and just share some links with you, and they'll be underneath the video here. Uh, one's from Microsoft itself, and another is going to be a program I'm going to show you that you can download. Now, the one with Microsoft, there's no reason to rehash this all myself. I can just point you to their resources here. It tells you right here that stop errors, sometimes called blue screens, they occur if a serious problem causes Windows 7 to shut down and re restart unexpectedly. And you'll usually see a message that says Windows has shut down to prevent damage to your computer. And then there's this generic blurb underneath which uh, a lot of times it doesn't really help you if you were to follow those instructions. Anyways, here's some things you can do. If you can start Windows and you're not actually in the blue screen anymore because once you get a blue screen all you can do is power off your machine and you don't want to keep repeatedly powering off your machine and turning it back on if you're just going to get the blue screen again because you ultimately might damage your hard drive doing that. Well one thing you can do is undo recent changes using System Restore so if you know that you had installed some new program or you think you might have just just a moment before gotten infected you can try that first. You also have an action center. If you ever see this flag down here, and if there's any issues, you'll usually see the icon change colors a bit. Now you can actually go and open that, and you can go to the troubleshooting section. And here's some built-in Windows troubleshooters that you can use to fix some common problems with Windows. And in some cases, you could be getting a blue screen because you don't have uh, the latest Windows updates. There might be a, a patch or a security update that might have uh, caused you to get infected because you didn't have it. Others could be outdated drivers. You can actually go to the manufacturer's website and learn how to update your drivers. Another thing, a great tool is to learn how to use the safe mode because a lot of times if the problem is software related, and it's something that runs normally that doesn't run in safe mode, you can boot up to the safe mode and you can at least get your computer booted to Windows with you know just a core set of drivers and services and then you can just start cleaning up your machine and troubleshooting it so that you can resolve the blue screen problem. And this gives you some instructions. I also have videos on how to do this as well. And if you've been turning your computer off and on and off and on with a power button or you've had bad shutdowns because of power outages or whatever you probably have errors in your hard drive so you might want to get in here and check your computer for uh, hard disk errors there's also a utility built into windows that you can use to run tests for memory errors in windows 7 so anyways these are a bunch of different ways you can do it if you can boot into windows now if you can't start windows at all it just doesn't ever even get to the desktop and basically you might be in this boot loop there are some recovery options that are built into Windows 7. Uh, you'll need to use the F8 option basically to get in and try to run startup repairs. It's one of the first options you would do if the safe mode didn't work. And from within the startup repair feature you can run things like system restore. You can actually uh, go in and get to a command prompt and run check this to check your drive for errors. If you have an entire backup, if you made an image of your Windows 7, you can restore your computer using the image or you can actually reinstall Windows 7. Now in that case, you're either going to need the disk to do that or you're going to need a recovery partition. And if you get into where you have to reinstall Windows 7 from scratch, you might want to just have a technician do that. Now, when you do get a blue screen, usually it's going to create what's called a mini dump folder in your Windows directory. So you can just go over here to go to computer, which there's many ways to get there. You can just do this, go to C, go to Windows, scroll down, and usually if you've never had a blue screen, this mini dump folder wouldn't even be here and I actually created this one for testing and if you had a mini dump you'll actually see some files in here and you can actually go look at the date and time on the files that would be in here and I bet you they'd correlate to the problem when your computer froze on you. Now there is a Windows debugger that you can install and download these huge symbols 
to debug your machine so it can give you a clue of what went wrong but that's kind of above and beyond the average user a really much easier way that almost always works is to just go to this website here and download what's called the blue screen viewer it's free actually it's this website called nursoft.net and I'll leave the link again underneath this video and uh, it says here that you know the blue screen view scans all your mini dump files that get created during a blue screen of death crash and it's going to display some information about the crashes in a table the table is going to look like this so these are examples of some of the mini dump files that you would see in that folder it's it's going to basically parse this folder automatically for you and it's going to check the time and uh, normally when you get a blue screen you see this uh, stop 0x code and you have this little phrase at the top like driver IRQL not less than or equal to and anyways down here is going to give you some information about what possibly caused it here's an example of one of the blue screens this is the important information for a technician by the way this little phrase here and stop 0x and then these last two digits D1 uh, the rest of this info can help if you need to get into some uh, more advanced debugging, but mostly it's just this. And if it does list a file here, like in this case, tcpip.sys, that's a driver file, uh, it's internet related, that uh, that would be important too. All this other stuff you see in here is just a generic blurb. Now let's go ahead and go download that file that I was talking about you can go to the bottom of the page where the links are and for one you're going to need to know what version of Windows that you have uh, whether it's 32 or 64 bit and in case you don't know that or don't know, how to, don't know how to check just click start computer right click the computer right click select properties and here you got Windows 7 and I have 64 bit so I'm going to download this one the blue screen view 64 bit and this is going to be in a zip file and uh, Windows 7 has a native unzip program here so I'm just going to save it to my desktop and there it is now I'm going to extract it and here's the file right here now this method here without the full installer like this version would be and you could use this one if you want but the one I downloaded is actually a portable version and as you can see there's even a help file here if you want to learn more about it and it'll read me text file that tells you about the program that's a pretty big font okay anyways aside from that this is the program itself the .exe you can just go ahead and double click that Accept the UAC prompt and here it is now I don't have any dump files in my mini dump folder I don't have any recent blue screens I had to contend with so I don't have anything to show you here but if there were again you'd be seeing let's go to that screenshot they showed here earlier you'd be seeing a window basically like this and it would give you some information about some files to look at not always but sometimes these highlighted ones here this tcpic tcpip.sys anyways uh, you have a clue now of what to look for now it could be that that file actually got infected it could be that file got corrupted maybe you have errors in your drive in that area of the driver that file resides uh, who knows but uh, in some cases you might even have a backup of that file on your computer somewhere and you can do things such as a search for it and look for it where it might be on your drive let's make sure I type that in right tcpip.sys And this is what you can do. You can just go search for all the locations where one of these files might be. And you can check the version of it. 
you can scan it. You can see if you can get a copy from another computer and replace it if need be. Whatever it takes. But that's pretty much all I wanted to show you about how to deal with these blue screens of death. Uh, you have a way of analyzing these blue screens to mini-dump files with this blue screen viewer from Nersoft that I showed you you can download for free and that will usually give you a clue of what went wrong and you also have these window suggestions about the different methods you can use to uh, revert back to a previous time when the computer was known working or you can troubleshoot the problem using the Action Center uh, say that file needed to be updated because of a Windows update or maybe it could have been a file that was a driver file and here you can do an update in the driver's manufacturer site and uh, you could use safe mode to troubleshoot the problem because you can't get in normally and again just to review if you can't start Windows at all remember you have the startup recovery options where you can get to the advanced boot options menu and do things like system restore again you can get to a command prompt and check your drive for errors all this I have videos for on the website uh, so if, if you're a member and you have access to all this um, it'll be a lot of stuff that you can do on your own without having to contact a technician here and be careful about searching the internet for for fixes uh, if you're not familiar with uh, reputable and disreputable websites because you might find a program out there that advertises it can fix your problem for you guaranteed and you just might further infect your computer which is usually the cause of these blue screens anyways anyways that's all I wanted to show you uh, this is Dale with computer aftercare hope you enjoyed the video thank you and good night